So, as I sit here being shocked and outraged, I am very appalled by Louis C.K. Of his actions of sexually assaulting women, five of them, whom made allegations towards him, and he came out with a written statement. And they are true. And, um, let me, um, sorry, I'm eating cheesecake right here. It's so damn good. Oliver Darcy said statements from Louis C.K., these stories are true, and posted the cover letter. Sorry, it's really cold. I'm rugged cheesecake, sorry. <laughs> Okay, I want to address the stories told to the New York Times by five women named Abby, Rebecca, Dana, Julia, who felt to name themselves and one did not. These stories are true. At the time, I said to myself that what I did was okay because I never showed a woman my dick without asking first, which is also true. But what I learned later in life, too late, is that when you have power over another person, asking them to look at your dick isn't a question. It's a predicament for them. The power I had over these women is that they admired me and I wielded that power irresponsibly. I have been remorseful of my actions and I've tried to learn from them and run from them. Now I'm aware of the extent. Of the impact of my actions, I learned yesterday the extent is which I left these women who admired me freely, bodily, about themselves, and cautious around other men who have never have put them in that position. I also took advantage of the fact that I was weirdly, that was weirdly admired in my and their community, which them from sharing their story and brought hardship to them when they tried because people who look up to me didn't want to hear hear it. I didn't think that I was doing any of that because my position allowed me not to think about it. There is nothing about this that I forgive myself for, and I have to re reconcile it of who I am, which is nothing compared to the task I left them with. I wish I had reacted in the admiration of me and by being a good example to them as a man and giving them some guidance as a comedian, including because I admired their work. The hardest regret to live with is what you've done to hurt someone else, and I could hardly wrap my head around the scrape of that, the scope of hurt I brought on them. I'd be remiss to exclude the hurt that I brought on people who I work with and the production, the cast and crew of Better Things, Baskets, The Cops, One Mississippi, and I Love You, Daddy. I deeply regret that has brought negative attention to my manager, Dave Bucky, who tried to mandate a situation that I chance on my movie. And every other en entity that has been set upon me though, through the years, I brought pain in my family, my friends, my children, and their mother. I've spent my long and lucky career taking and saying anything I want, and now step back and take a long time to listen. Thank you for reading. So, Louis C.K. came out and admitted it. That he used his fame and sexually harassed all those women. He would take his clothes off and he would masturbate right in front of women. At first, they thought it was a joke. It wasn't a joke. So, brought to you by ABC News and the like. The allegations are true. That's a real official statement from Louis C.K., the comedian. And um, it's sad. It's really sad. It's like, it's not just Louis C.K. It's Louis, Kevin Spacey, Harvey Weinstein, all these people. And what's sad I said, a lot of these people have kids. They're doing this when they have kids. There's like no decent human beings anymore. Isn't that sad and pathetic? 
it's just so upsetting how you have these brilliant, talented people. And they're really fucked up human beings. Have you noticed that? I mean, think about all of them are fucked up. Think about how many musicians, how many rock artists people listen to, and they're all drug addicts. How I many, you know, look at how all these hippies really like John Lennon. And he was a phenomenal artist, but he was a, he abused his wife. So that's what I don't get. I think all these people are hypocrites. All these people are evil. And it's disturbing. Look, I'm not saying... This cheesecake is so good. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not saying, like, I'm a perfect person. But I'm nowhere near as fucked up as that. And you know what? I have apologized years later down the road for doing bad things. And people forgive and forget. But it's more disturbing when people have kids. Like, what kind of goddamn example are you? How are your kids going to look up to you now? How are your kids supposed to, like, look at you differently now? And be like, oh, that's my daddy, you know. I mean, think about how much he would be hated. This is the same man who got drunk and deliberately wrote really nasty things to Sarah Palin. He actually got cease and desist letter because of the harassment of the constant brutal tweets that he posted. One of them was that really pissed me off. I hate Sarah Palin. I think she's an idiot. But the thing that really pissed me off about Louisa K is when he started talking about her kid. Um, I mean, her kid's kid. About, like, because he has, like, Down syndrome. And that really pissed me off. I thought that was the most dumbest, most cruel thing to ever say. And I think, I think deep down, Louis C.K. is a miserable person. Even though his comedy is fun, it's raw, you know, he's a great comedian. And he seems like a great guy. Until you really know who he really is. Oh, well, it's just sad. You know, all these people coming out and doing this shit. It's so wrong. Um. Just unbelievable. Wow. All the and all these people are doing it. Kevin Spacey, Lucy K, Harvey Weinstein. They're all bad people. What's sad is now all these people's careers are over. And what's funny to me is I've heard of allegations before. I always thought, oh, people you know, 'cause some there are some incidences that women have taken advantage and they know that if they do something like that, that cruel and evil, they can make money off of it and get a settlement. Or get fame out of it. Hey, some people are whack jobs. I'm not saying all of them do it. I'm just saying there are is a slight group of women who do. And it's wrong. <laughs> but I'm just saying when allegations are proven fact... That's what really upsets me. It's like, how, it's, it's, it sucks because look at how many people, like how many talented people there are. And they're all fucked up. Every single one. Every single artist that you've ever known is a fucked up human being. Look at Taylor Swift. She's a fucked up human being. She has to write a goddamn fucking breakup song every fucking album she does. Because she can't keep a relationship. Because she's the goddamn problem. I think any guy who dates her should start a group called Maybe You're the Problem. I don't know if she's the one who leaves them first or the guys do. But she's so goddamn annoying. She can't even keep a relationship for more than a month. And then Hollywood is no help. They like to ruin relationships. Any chance they get, like TMC, like get real goddamn jobs. Anyway, thanks for listening. And um, Louis C.K., you're a piece of shit.